Okay, here is my tool trailer review. So on the outsides, I wouldn't attach that, uh, I think it's called E-Track stuff. And then I just have uh, hooks to attach some scaffold brackets, one of those Bora centipede tables which never gets used, shingle nail pullers, a couple step ladders. Now let's see, here's my jack, which I just took the handle off, put a nut on, and I just use an impact to get it off. And I got uh, just a one piece of extension ladder and a extendable scaffold plank. And then for the inside, I have been kind of foolish with how much pack out stuff I've bought. I do love it, and it's quick to change this trailer out. I can clear it out within about 15 minutes and use it for anything else. So on my main stack by the door, I've got a top drawer at the bottom there, quick and easy to get at, all sorts of different bits and stuff like that. And I've got some drill bits, a couple of the bigger 20 volt tools, and a bunch of 12 volt tools, jigsaw and oscillating tool, sitting right there and I keep the pin nailer and the stapler together with some staples and then we've got their narrow crown and the and the brad nailer of the Milwaukee type which are just very convenient and then my radio all sorts of knickknacks and then let's see at the on the v-nose this is a 6x12 with a two foot v-nose to it Giant compressor, which I never want to touch, so it usually sits there. Tiny little seven and a quarter miter saw, which is the handiest thing ever. And then lasers. Well, my batteries are kept up there. The second they're dead, they go onto the charger. When I get home, I usually charge stuff, just so I don't have to deal with batteries during the day. There's all my levels. There's the big uh, SDX Max hammer drill other things just nails and stuff like that and against this wall is under there is uh my corded tools like my big uh worm drive and the positive placement nailer and then there's just a crate with the big whole hog on it sorts of other stuff uh, siding gauges heat gun whichever kind of fits into the drawer and then up here is more of my metalwork stuff all the, the double shear and the single shear and then i went and bought the uh that nibbler the other day man that thing is nice there's the old style 15 gauge nailer up here i got the angle grinder trim router and a sander up here is the, the dewalt positive placement nailer and a palm nailer one of those cordless ones to get into tight spots this thing works but it's, it is kind of a junky tool. Hoping Milwaukee comes out a little shortly. And then over here is, I got it out right now, but there's the biscuit joiner and the pocket hole stuff I keep all in the air for the very rare time I need to use it. And I got roofing, uh, shingle nailer, siding nailer, sheathing stapler. And then here's just a, just a random place to put stuff so I can actually find it quick. Down here is my, usually gets hauled out to every job site, is the cordless nailer, skill saw, and a saw saw. Here's the Craig track saw. Over here is just uh, chalks and lines and chisel, and tape measures and string lines and block planes. Over here is oh, that. Milwaukee belt sanders on the bottom, it's pretty handy to use. And then just a smaller scale saw, hair nailer. Down at the bottom, both sides is just a bunch of electrical stuff. Over there is a bunch of plumbing parts. A band saw. That's kind of nice cutting stuff that you don't want the uh, the heat of the angle grinder to go and change the finish on the like little railing pieces and stuff like that. Blower, rotary laser, floor screw gun. Some drywall tools, cordless roofing nailer. That's actually a pretty good DeWalt product. It works pretty damn good. And then this thing, which is kind of handy when you hook it up to a vacuum for 
cutting out uh, drywall on renos. And I just keep a convenient drawer full of the used fasteners, most used ones. There's just some wrenches and a the impact. And then there's the old Bosch table saw where every time I use another chunk of plastic busts off it. Hopefully it clogs pretty soon. It's I've gotten my use out of it, that's for sure. And then here's the pack out vacuum, which is handy for the quick little renos and window changes and stuff like that. And then here's just tons and tons of fasteners, which are quick and easy to get at. This I just wanted to see how these these little cam open face cabinets work. They're kind of useless to be honest, but I found a place for it. Keeps all my uh, joist hanger nails in there. How does that even work? And then the light, light is uh, for when I'm not hooked up to the truck to use. So yeah, this is my trailer, which I love and I'm very proud of.